Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be reviewing the uh, season two of Fall Guys maps and uh, how good they are and uh, how to play them. But uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you like my videos, of course. But let's dive into the video. Our first map is Star to Earth. I love this map because I found out how how to play, but a lot of people don't know how to play this so i'll show you basically all you have to do there should be buttons at the start and the buttons on every platform uh if you press the button at this side it should activate the path uh there's a chart uh at um, forward in your screen and it should say that you should be going uh, up and uh, like uh, going uh, straight forward. Then uh, there should be another button on the platform. And it should say you somewhere to go like here or here. And the, this map is just an example. So it's not the, path, the right path. Just like showing you guys. It's not always the same path every time. But because there are many. And uh, you act keep activating until the orange ones or yellow ones i'll i'll say yellow ones because they're yeah uh, they are checkpoints and uh, be careful because sometimes the uh, platforms have like two uh, um, asteroids just circling around the platform so be careful on that of that till here sometimes uh, at the orange uh, above uh, it gets confusing and hard then uh, if you go to a side of a red platform uh, press the button and it should go on this side do not go straight forward else it will just make you fall because uh, there is no uh, path holding it and if you go in the middle, it will be just straight forward if you press the button. And the same on uh, the right side. It should go uh, rotated like that. So that's how you play Star Chart. Uh, now on to Space Race. Space Race, not much of a big deal. Very fun, though. Although a lot of people uh, are bad at this, so it takes forever to people to qualify. But yeah, not much about this, but it is really frustrating when uh, you miss a platform at the fall or you get hit by the lasers. <sighs> Cosmic Highway. I hate this one. It's so hard, annoying. Everybody sucks at this. And like, it's not, like not the best, it's a bit fun, but like it's the same thing over and over again. And the plus it takes a while for everyone to qualify. And everybody like is bad at this, so I don't really like this much. Hexaterrestrial. I love this one like not my favorite but it's very good really like it although it's very frustrating when like you miss something and you fall today when i was playing hexaterrestrial i even got grabbed by a pineapple i i fell but he didn't how frustrating also, um, it even can be timed out because there is like a barrier that just comes in, just like Fortnite, like the storm, and yeah. Tip to finale. Another great finale, but not the best. Like I prefer a bit like Hexaterrestrial because it's fun, but. I think it's the same level, just like a tiny bit more low, but it's very good. I won this, uh, like, I won this today and yesterday. I only played this three times. I only won twice and the lost once, 
but the times I uh, won, I I not it's not that my squad like grabbed the crown. I specifically grabbed the crown each two times. It's very fun. Frantic Factory. This is basically a combine of button dashers and the Hoopsie Legends. Although if you play squads, it would be basically Hoopsie Daisy and the button dashers combined. But at first when I played this, I thought it was really fun. But now it's just like another boring version of Hoopsie Legends or Hoopsie Daisy or button dashers. But it's still a pretty good map. I prefer this than button dashers. Pixel painters. Better than Frantic Factory, although not the best. But it is really frustrating when uh, you get a bad team. Yesterday, I got somebody. With me and the one who were really working hard to paint. But we didn't even finish one paint. Thing. Uh, one was uh, lazy and didn't do anything and one just went on the tiles running the, he didn't even know how to play but yeah I it's still good though now for the best map on this list is hyperdrive heroes I don't know why I've been growing I've been going crazy on this one but I've never played the hoverboard heroes except I think once I don't remember. Uh, but I really uh, uh, hoverboard heroes looked really fun. Although uh, this is harder, I still love it. I only qualified once on this though, but it's really fun. Trust me. But a lot of people die in the first two seconds because they dive right into the red blocks. Instead, you're supposed to jump. But yeah, whatever. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if only if you like my videos. And um, if we reach like, I don't know, one like, <laughs> I don't know why, I'll make a tips and tricks video on season two. I hope you enjoyed. Peace.